start the second topic for this session. In this topic, we'll be covering is risk and uncertainty in capital budgeting. We have covered various methods till now. I have covered traditional methods and we have covered modern methods. And we saw modern methods are the most widely used methods today carrying with themselves each advantages and disadvantages. But if you see, when we talk about capital budgeting decisions, what we talk about is the investment appraisal exercise. We see the future is always uncertain. Future is always uncertain in a sense, there's risk involved. Demand might change, production, selling price, cost, etc. might change for a product. So for example, if I'm sitting today, I'm seeing 10 years down the line. 10 years market won't be the same. It's political factors, economic, so many things which play a role in short, right? Therefore, what comes into picture is the risk and uncertainty in capital budgeting. Risk and uncertainty is actually done by various methods. For example, if I say now I manufacture a product, I'm, I'm seeing I'm, I'm with a new handset for a phone, and I'm seeing how much profits will be generated five and ten years down the line. But you see, my by the time I come into existence, in two years down the line, the project might become obsolete. Like you see, Apple phones, every a new model comes like five six and the old one does not have a much resale price as well now what happens in this i know the product becomes obsolete very fast the risk element is involved if i want to enter this industry so in this we'll be seeing as various risk and risk uncertainty methods as such we'll be covering various methods like risk adjusted discount rate certainty equivalent method sensitivity technique probability technique standard deviation method coefficient of variation method and decision tree analysis so we'll be covering various methods as such and as all the methods are not in the syllabus we'll cover just cover three or four methods and see how risk and uncertainty can be taken into consideration for capital budgeting decisions.